They would more likely be killed by the uh, aliens, and then they would start. I understand they work in, in sort of like a an ant hive or a, not an ant hive or an ant colony or you know um, something to that effect. But do they have like a retirement home for just old queens that are barren? Like, do they sit around playing bridge all day? <laughs> I doubt it. Like I said, it's it's the planet that they come across here is a oh yeah, and this um this uh yeah, this doctor's just cold blooded, man. He notices that everything's going wrong before his assistant does. And so he's just kind of like instead of like we should get out of here, he slowly sleeks out the back. Yeah, that's totally a, 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 a thing. That's kind of what I did. What, like what I would do. What do you mean the nuclear weapon's beeping? Oh, shit, I'll have the toaster on to you. <laughs> what was it uh, from... Uh, oh, God, what was that awesome movie? Um, tell you what I like. Tell you what I like. Killer, professional, cold-blooded, efficient. Now, a true killer would have immediately asked about the little red button on the bottom of the gun. From, um, uh, Fifth Element? Yeah, yeah. A lot of people didn't like that movie, and I don't understand why. I absolutely loved that movie. Dude, that movie is the freaking best. Right, I, I quote that movie constantly. Like one of my favorite lines is uh, negative. I am a me, me popsicle. popsicle. I was just about to comment on that. that yeah, is, that is the ultimate in Bruce Willis smartass dumb right there. It's like, are you human? Negative. I am a meat popsicle. <laughs> Sir, please put your hands on the wall. Smoke you. Bang, bang, bang. <laughs> Wrong answer. <laughs> Yeah. Part, I was surprised at how smart and clever that movie was. Right? Like, you know, first, first of all, like, when I first heard of it, I thought, oh, God, it's a satire just on Star Trek and the nerddom that follows, correct? And then right. I started watching it, and I was like, dear God, this movie is intelligent. It's brilliant. It's like it was written by people who had experienced all of this. Well, it is actually, like, it, it is directly based upon, um, like, uh, what's-his-face, um, oh, God, what was, uh, Shatner's freakout on the fans? Oh, uh, wait, 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 Shatner freaked out on a fan? Yes. Um, they were asking him, uh, it was similar to the kid going, you know, uh, well, in this episode, you know, you had this in floor this, but in this episode, you had this in floor section level this, and we were just kind of curious because regulations dictate that da 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 and he just goes, good God, it's just a show. Like, and that was actually some, like, that, that got some negative flack to it. And, um, and so that's where, like, it was, it was kind of based on that, but it was also just, 
like I said, I really enjoyed that. Uh, Leon the Professional, do you know that he is, like, that's the same dude from, uh, that's the same dude from, um, La Femme Nikita? Yeah. You know? Yeah. Did you know? No, I mean, that's the same uh, character. So the director and his wife were really good friends with uh, Jean. Yeah. And so what they did was they um, they called him up and they were like, we want you to have you over for dinner. And he's like, all right, cool. And so he comes over and they're like, um, they showed him the script and they're like, this is your care. This is uh, the professional's backstory. And he just, he cried. He's like, thank you so much. That, that is absolutely amazing. Did you know that Jean Renaud was actually in a video game in the uh, mid to late 90s for PS1? No. Yes. They did live action cutscenes. The name of the game is called Crazy Ivan. It's a mech game. You need to YouTube it. It's some of the best video game acting I've ever seen out of Jean Reno. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's called Crazy Ivan. That is cool. I'll have to check that out. Yeah, like, you know the thing that I absolutely love about, um... Uh, oh God, what is his name? Um, uh, the guy who was the bad guy in, um, uh, the guy who was Zerg in, um, uh, in The Fifth Element. Oh, um, Gary Oldman. Yeah, Gary Oldman never looks like Gary Oldman in his movies. I said Gary Oldman never looks like Gary Oldman in his movies. Right? Like, you know what, what tripped me out was when they actually got him to play Commissioner Gordon? Yeah. But, I mean, and he did an amazing job. Yes, he did. Yeah. to the whole nerddom thing and everything you know and, yeah. and I even I even tried to like and I'm gonna catch a lot of flack from this especially from your viewers I tried to like Batman versus Superman but yeah. I couldn't I really couldn't I tried so hard Nice. Uh, I'm sorry, just one of the aliens did something really cool. No, you're cool. Uh, I imagine you know you have uh, an alien that's bugging you. I mean, I, I, no, I, I am the alien. Aliens that bug me. I am the alien. Oh, so you're telling me that there isn't like dissension in the ranks when it comes to aliens? Uh, not that I've seen, or at least not in like this video game. Like six and nine just don't get along at all. <laughs> like they're sitting around and everything, and you know, they haven't killed anybody in a while, and six is like, man, I'm bored, and nine's like, you complain about anything! Hey, you know what? I just suddenly had a thought. How is okay. Wayland not vo. I I okay. How many times has Wayland done this and it like the whole we're gonna get the aliens we're gonna do the thing and then it exploded in his face i mean like uh, the whole I'm gonna the, go ahead and assume that Waylon yutani is dead by now well no it, it's like he they keep bringing him back as like an, an android well i mean yeah but i mean it's not really Waylon yutani well it's Wayland. 
Utani is the other person. Oh, I thought his name was Wayland Utani. No, it's Bishop Wayland. Utani is the that other is person. It was Wayland. That actually makes more sense now. Yeah, but I mean, this is like a um. Here come the Marines. Yay! I mean, um, uh -oh. food. <laughs> but okay, so. Nobs with guns. Nobs with guns. You have to look at the investment given into this planet. Um, the money of, like, terraforming it and dropping all of this stuff down, you know, for it to build a profit. And then even in the sense of, like, having the planet be, like, a sense of, like, real estate and selling it, this stuff happens, that is a loss. That, yeah, that, it is. You know, so how has he not been voted off the board yet? How has it just been like, no, you know what, this this whole thing is just a bad investment, and we, we, we voted you off, Waylon. In fact, uh, emergency shutdown. What, Conk? <laughs> wait, 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 you don't have a switch? No, she does, and she's about to push it. <laughs> it's like, after, uh, well, uh, you know what, what I was thinking is, you know, maybe they're having, like, their, their you know, their, their biannual, like, board member, shareholder meeting, and they're sitting around, and you got everybody going, what should we do at the company retreat? Man, I don't know. I was thinking about ordering, like, a shit ton of pizza. Me too, man. What about jello shots? Meanwhile, Bishop Whalen is like, oh, yeah, by the way, we're, uh, we're enacting the alien project again. Dude, how many people do you need to kill to get it for your head that this will never work? <laughs> like, dear Lord, dude. I yeah. mean, like, this man has killed more people than Hitler. <laughs> It, it is, it, it is friggin' ridiculous. It's just like, dude, really? Did he not have, like, like seriously, I mean, I get it, and maybe Whoa. he's doing it to... So what? I ambushed! I'm supposed to be doing the ambushing, dang it! Uh -oh. Ow. <laughs> I got the shot. The ambusher has been ambushed. So, you know, maybe he's doing it for the betterment of all mankind and stuff like that. <laughs> and they're hoping to weaponize the aliens or the xenomorphs or whatever you want to call them. And I get that. But I do hope there's a little blonde niece with a smart book and a talking dog who's actually doing the real footwork for him. <laughs> he's not doing it properly. Your buddy's dead. <laughs> I'm not going to know no <laughs> Oh, God. But, yeah, like, I'm surprised Waylon hasn't been voted off the board yet. <laughs> it's like a bad episode of Survivor. <laughs> they all walk up, and they're holding out paper talking to the screen. Guys, please don't do this. This is, this is my life. I just, I have... I have nothing. I I I am I am like the eight hundredth photocopied of the memories of the original guy. I have no other identity. Meanwhile, Norman Osborne is sitting in the back smiling and slowly nodding. <laughs> I like lost. It's... Like, <laughs> I think I'm like 927 at this point. Well, you would think they would pro program your ass with a little bit more of intelligence. <laughs> well, it's like a sexaholic. It's just like, I don't know, after 947, I kind of lost count. <laughs> Thank you.
Hey Guilders, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, be sure to catch me live on Twitch. The link is below. Please stay tuned for the next episode, or if you're looking for something a little different, you can follow the links to the episodes on the left and the right, or you can catch one of my guest streams. See you next time. <laughs> not, not, it pokes, pokes, eternal pokes, that's a hammer, ow! Hi, I'm looking for Ray Finkel, Shit. and a clean pair of shorts. <laughs> Systems critical. Oh god, I'm gonna die. Yep.